Hey, what up guys? Uh, today we're uh, filming just a quick little video to demonstrate uh, a cool little app I've actually been working on to do with the A86s. Well, not just my A86s, but all A86s. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to spin the camera around and I'll demonstrate the app. Okay, so let me uh, let me just demonstrate this app real quick. I called it the A86 Guide, um, and I'm calling my little company, if you want to call it that, Green Machine, um, mostly because I have a green machine right there. Anyways, let me just demonstrate this. So really, it's it's an app all about the A86. There's a, there's a few things I, I considered doing, like parts catalogs and stuff, but I don't know if you're allowed to. But what I do have is the service manual, since you can pretty much get that anywhere on the internet. Um, and what I've done is I've used some technology called OCR to uh, scan the uh, service manual and make it searchable so so um you know what this is kind of hard to to demo like this let me put it here okay so uh basically what it is is it's the service manual but it's more than just the service manual so uh if we back out we've got the a86 body manual the 4ig service manual the diagnosis electrical diagrams the black top um, the SR5 manual. Now, the SR5 manual is one that you don't find anywhere online, but uh, I scanned it all myself. And then the miscellaneous stuff like MR2 rack. Um, and of course, I might add more later. But basically, uh, all of these sections, they're all there. So, like uh, front axle suspension, let's just click on that one. It's all here. And the cool thing is, like, you can bookmark pages, right? You can bookmark pages. All the pages are searchable via this technology called OCR, which basically allows um, the computer to read images for text. So it's read these images, parsed it into, uh, like, a database, and allows you to search. So let me... Well, first of all, let me demonstrate bookmarks. So, like, if you bookmark... I've bookmarked this page. Um, I'm sorry. I'm doing a terrible job of demonstrating this. So, if we fly out the side menu, we go bookmarks. You'll see here are some things I bookmarked. If you click on it, it'll take you right back to that page. So there you go, page eight, whatever. So then, let me just close this. I'm sorry about that, guys. If you click search, you can do something like, uh, what's something you would search? Timing? Yeah, like ignition timing, right? Ignition timing. So, we search. Timing. Come on, baby. And then we have the timing, where it appears in all the different manuals. So, like, uh, okay, so here's the perfect example right here. Right? Installation distributor has to do with ignition timing. Service manual. Adjustment of ignition timing. Click on that. That's going to take us to the page about ignition timing. Like, look at that. Isn't that the coolest? Way better than fudging around with, like, a, an old crappy manual, right? So you've got bookmarks, you've got searching, and you've got access to all the manuals on your phone, right? So you've got all that. Then when you've got notes. So what we're going to have here is people submit their notes, like special notes that aren't, wouldn't be in a service manual but are important to know. Right now it's just my handy-dandy parts list. Like, I have uh, parts numbers and stuff like that that... I've used in the past um, so there's that then there is um, external resources so I've only linked one but we can always add more later that's just a 20 valve conversion guide uh, part suppliers well right now there's only one part suppliers is a section that's like I'm going to allow part suppliers to contact me and then we can put them in the app um, or I'll reach out to them. I might reach out to them. 
and support. Support is just supporting the app, not just supporting the app, but supporting me. Um, if you've been following my channel, you know that I'm off work ill with like a serious illness and um, I need injections and I can't actually pay for the injections because they're very expensive. So uh, whether it's via Patreon or buying a t-shirt or a hoodie or a sticker, um, the app's free. The app's 100% free, but if someone was to support the app, these are methods that would help me out. Um, what else is there? There is the about section, which is just like, um, just about, about myself, really. Um, and why I built the app. I mean, there's a big explanation why I built the app. Um, there's a feedback section where, you know, everyone can leave comments. Uh, I've had a few people text, uh, sorry, testing it already, so you can see a few. Uh, contact, it's just a contact form, nothing special. And then there's the images, which is here, right? Which is people can post stuff, share their images. Uh, it's supposed to be car images, but I've had a few people testing it and they're just uploading random photos. It's okay because it's just a test. And then you can comment on uh, the images, right? So that's where it is right now. Um, it is coming along. It's probably another week before it'll appear in the App Store. But uh, if you would like to help beta test this app, um, I can provide you with the Android file to test and then you can come back with any um, improvements or suggestions of what you might like to see in the app. So that is all for now uh, regarding the app. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is my parts list. I still need these parts to finish off this project car right here. Still need rear calipers. They are hard to find guys. Hard to find. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. Um, thank you for learning a little bit about my app. Hopefully, my whole, my whole objective here is to help the community. There's a lot of, uh, uh, what's, what's the word? Um, information that's kind of just scattered everywhere. And I'd like to centralize it and allow newcomers to be able to easily work on their cars keep the hobby alive keep the 86 hobby alive because it is um, becoming harder and harder to work on these cars the information is harder to find parts are harder to find um, something I thought about would be adding like the Toyota parts catalog here or adding um, part suppliers well I have the part suppliers but like actual links and like a for sale section but I didn't know if that would really be necessary. The main thing really is the service manuals, uh, which are all there, all searchable, all bookmarkable. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's all. I'm just kind of rambling now. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope, I hope you like the app. Bye.